Oh, yeah. Is that it? Should I not reverse? No, you can reverse. Oh, okay. I just wasn't expecting okay, to. Okay, sorry. I was like, okay, let's do this. I, I thought when it's like two and one, you know, we can. I was vlogging and yeah, walking that's up fine. the stairs. Welcome to San Francisco. I'm here with the plastic architect, Claire. Hi. She's very, very kindly hosting me and putting me up while I'm here. Mm -hmm. My name is Claire and I have recently realized that I like Marvel. So I thought I would vlog a bit because we're gonna go exploring and we're gonna go to Lego stores tomorrow because why not? I've also got more passport stamps and life is great. We have a giant bag in the trunk, yeah. in the boot, and it's it's a lot, it's very heavy. My fingers kind of hurt from carrying it, but that's fine. <laughs> you said uh, fine. I was fine, but like yeah. those bags, are, yeah. they hurt. I hate buying D2Cs and yeah. having to carry it it's in ridiculous. them. It's painful. We so, went to Shake Shack. Oh yeah, that was yeah. so tasty. I've, yeah. I've feel like I've experienced a lot of like American cuisine, but every time I come, there's a new restaurant, there's a new takeout place that mm -hmm. I've never eaten at. Mm -hmm and Shake Shack today was one of them and it was very good. I had a strawberry milkshake as well. Shouldn't have done it, but it was worth it because it was really tasty. So now we're going on a very short in the car tour. I've only been to San Francisco once and we did a lot of like the touristy things. So I'm excited to see it from like a local's perspective and like someone who like lives here and knows more about it rather than just like, there's the Golden Gate Bridge. Like That's Mrs. Doubtfire's yeah. house. Yeah, There's Lombard Street. So I'm like, I'm excited. So let's go. We're probably, yeah, we're probably gonna, I'm thinking the Golden Gate Bridge now. Unfortunately, mm. like the sun is setting. <laughs> yeah, so we, we woke up very late. Today. Very late, yes. And then we'll, maybe we'll do a little bit more tomorrow as well. But today we'll just like drive around a little bit and then mm. we'll pick up sands and then we will have some sushi I think yes sushi yeah. dinner I was also on mockumentary this morning which was a lot of fun I'll hit, show my favorite clip from that thank you that is what is what is mocky mom did you just make that up is this our cat litter is this the cat litter box oh, profile picture. oh no <laughs> did you make this did you make this profile look at the what picture. is wrong with you I see it's the tiger button. Yeah, it. and, and the picture is cat poop. It's my mom. Oh, no. Everyone, check out Mockumentary. <laughs> Highly enjoy. I, it's so much fun coming on there every single time. I have, I have a blast, and it's just very educational. It's, it inspires me. So you should do it. How is it educational? Because I learn a lot about building, and it just gives me ideas. Because everyone's like, I'm going to take this set and make it into this. Here's an idea I've had. <laughs> And it's like I see all these other creations, and I'm like, mm, I'm tired. learning a lot. Yeah. Well, so a I lot really of enjoy it. Also, like keeping you in check, and we're like, Holly, when are you gonna finish your Daredevil mock? Holly, when exactly. are you gonna finish this other mock? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So all of the projects that I either forget about or just don't do anything for, I get reminded of, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do that, <laughs> which is really helpful <laughs> because I haven't touched my Daredevil mock in a while. I focused a lot on like the figures, but I just haven't built anything. I feel like I've been putting it off because I'm like, I need to do the roof at some point. You should, and that, that seems daunting. I want to do it like the police station. So I feel like I need to order some Minecraft dog heads and I might just yeah. like modify that slightly. Oh, lovely, beautiful music. I feel like it's not copyright for you though. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is so nice! <laughs> This is so nice. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a tiny bit cold, but like not awful. Like it's I'm okay. fine. It's okay. It's like actually like it's not super windy right now, but it's been nice. But so many nice dogs. So many nice dogs. And a lot of people jogging. I couldn't do that. Yeah, I get more fit here. People do work out. <laughs> people try. I don't. People work out faster though too, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, at the amount of people I see people like running like the Bronte to Bondi walk, awful. Yeah. I couldn't do that. There's stairs as well, like no. <laughs> Bye jogger. <laughs> Hello. He's got runner's calves, you can, I you know. can tell. Cool. We went to Shake Shack instead. Sorry, I just stole your line. Mm, that's Claire okay, said it. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <gasps> <Don't>. I... <sighs> Hello. 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 Hello
Oh, he is bold. Oh, yes. Another one. You do that shit all the time. I don't know what happened. What do you mean I do that all the time? <laughs> it's not wrong. I was telling Holly today how, like, I have no recollection of, like, mini figure torsos. I was like, are you filming me and shaming me? What is that? Because I thought the vest. did you stop Because I thought the vest matched her pants. Look No. Look out. This is a better. But no, it's not that bad. Oh my god. That is bad. Oh my god. I walked in as the first thing I've seen. Here, you can switch it. When I first got it, I switched it. Like, what is Woody doing? Why does Woody have boobs? Woody needs boobs. Woody needs boobs. Does he really? Is that what? No, Jesse never had any, like, hip printing. I reckon that's how it happened. That's just. No, I'm kind of just. Yeah, that's like a hip printing. I reckon that's how it happened. That's just. No, I'm kind of just. That looks awful. Guess where we are? Alphonse's? Yes, precisely. We're out of bricks and mini bags. I've always wanted to go. Like, they just seem like cool places. I'm really excited because, like, I, I don't know if anyone watched the Plastic Architect video, but <laughs> it's recently moved and reopened and relocated. So I'm excited to see what they've got. Apparently, there's a monochrome pink Vader. And if that's there, I'll get it. Also, Yondu. I'll get that too. Don't have much space, but I'll try. I've even got the Comic Con Ultron set, as well as one of the Comic Con Superman sets. That's pretty good. No good DC figures, though. Kind of sucks. None that I don't already have. Oh yeah, that one's fun. He was a painter build though. Yeah. I like that. I accidentally put it in cinematic mode and it looks really cool. <laughs> 
a lot of Titanic. Got my Buzz briquette. Exciting. Gotta get my possible two. Buzz is up there. Oh, on the wall. I couldn't find him for a while, but he's here. Yeah. Nobody in Bo Peep. I'm so annoyed. I said this. So frustrating. She's a boring size. It's longer than the He's wearing a Christmas hat. Oh, yeah, it's huge. It's so much longer than the hat. I think it would take up that entire display case. Like, it's massive. So my passport is stamped and I've got my buzz. I didn't bother with a bag. I'm just going to throw it in my suitcase anyway. We're all good. We're ready to go. Sans is back. Hello. Well, this stuff is cool. I love this map. So nice. My gosh. So we're in Box Lunch and it's like a stylish hot topic. I didn't really know it existed, but like look at the Rugrat stuff. It's adorable. I love it. So Sans and Claire have dropped me off at the airport. I just got through security. My bags got stuck again. Um, my backpack was for like my little Toy Story alien that I got. I thought it was for the Lego because I've got this like Buzz Lightyear brick heads in there. And then my other suitcase got stopped because of my microphone for like my camera. And like the guy was like, oh, do you like collect Lego? Because I have a suitcase full of it pretty much. Um, and he was just like talking about it the whole time. It was like super fun, super chill. He was like asking if I had like the Manchester Stadium, said it recognized things and like saw my mini fig blind bag and was like talking about the chili guy so that was cool so now it's time to find my gate which is b23 i also need to fill out my drink bottle <laughs> might get a snack too so let's go not that anyone would care but they've got a makeup vending machine that's pretty cool i got a butter croissant every time i'm at the airport i seem to buy a butter croissant the first time i bought one. your attention please thank you for supporting safe travel you're welcome I've left my Buzz Lightyear brick heads in my bag because I thought that would be pretty fun to like build on the plane home, especially considering like Buzz Lightyear is a space ranger. I've also got like my Toy Story shirt to change into when I get to LAX and I put my jumper away because I thought it's probably better so if I just like wear my jacket. My suitcases are so full, like they're underweight, but they are very full. I'm like struggling for space. I also put myself two chocolate bars because I know I'm gonna get hungry. So I got a Twix and I got a Snickers because Capri just doesn't exist here, which sucks. I also need to fill up my drink bottle and I also got a Sprite. Before I like board as well, I need to fill up my drink bottle, which currently has a nice pink boot on it. So it's not going to get dented, which is lovely. Also, while I was here, I went into an ice store and I bought myself like a proper American like charging brick because I... I travel here so much and it's so, it's so annoying having to like have this and then have the adapter so I thought to myself like I might as well just pull the trigger like I'm here all the time I've got this three is a security advisory please maintain possession of your bags at all times like I've got two other trips booked here this year alone like I was here in November I'm here all the time I might come back next month we'll see what happens so I just thought I might as well pull the trigger and just, the guy convinced me to get this one because it was the same price it charges faster and I thought about it as well like I can slide this entire like top thing off and use it to charge my laptop as well which is super convenient so that was helpful I've been putting it off for years I've thought about it for ages I want to buy a British one as well when I'm in the UK next time because like it's so much easier than carrying around this stupid fat travel adapter it's really painful and then like half the time when you plug it in like you can't plug it in with other things it's like really annoying now i'm just ranting anyway i had a wonderful time in san francisco if you haven't checked out sans and claire highly recommend it they are great friends of mine they are some of my best friends in the lego community i love them both so much they let me stay with them very very kind so please go and check them out and thank you so much as well you guys for giving me a tour of san francisco hanging out with me taking me to the lego stores getting me some like lego passport stamps had the best time. I am sad to be going home. Like, I mean, I miss my home and I miss my routine, but at the same time, I'm having a blast. Like, this is the second time I've ever done like a solo trip and it's a lot of fun. It's like, I forgot how much I really enjoyed it and I could do this forever. Just, it's expensive. And I like, especially right now, like you have to go get COVID tests. So for anyone who isn't aware, I had to get a test before I left and that costs like $180. And then I had to get one while I was over here and that cost 180 US dollars. And that was before like they changed the rules and now you can get a rapid test. So it's getting cheaper luckily. And I also found out like the pre-departure test, I can get cheaper at the airport. So next time I have to go and book that in, I'll save myself like money, which is fantastic. But I've had a fantastic time.
Goodbye, San Francisco. See ya.